I am 26. This is me without makeup. I have adult onset acne. I've had it now for just under two years. I know when you see me, you judge me. You think I'm not trying very hard. You think I've got acne because I'm unhealthy or I'm not trying hard enough to get rid of it. Or at least I think that you think that of me. Because I used to judge you. If you had acne or weight on, I blamed you. If you had a problem, I judged. I think that this experience has had some blessings attached to it. One is that I have more compassion. I know what it feels like. I have a story now. I think God can use that to touch more lives. I'm trying so hard. I eat really healthy. I take more than a handful of supplements. I exercise. I get all sorts of treatments like acupuncture and facials. I get about eight hours sleep most nights. I have a skin routine that I do every day and night, even when I'm really, really tired. I make sure I get regular sun. I drink about two litres of water minimum a day. Avoid certain foods that are allergens and that are known to cause acne. I've tried so many combinations of things. The acne goes away for a couple of months and then, bam, another huge and scarring breakout. And when it hits, I feel like it takes all the life out of me again. I cry. I have my days when I cry a lot. But I can't stay there too long crying because it doesn't make it any better. I know the people that know me still love me when I have acne, but I find it sometimes it's really hard to love myself. I've covered up most mirrors in my house. It'll stop me from saying nasty things to myself when I catch my reflection. And the mirrors that I haven't covered up, I've written affirmations on to counteract the negative things. I have to learn to love me as I am right now. Because what if this never goes away? I often ask God why this is happening to me. I have asked him several times to take the acne away. The last time I asked him, he showed me 2 Corinthians 12, 8-10. In this verse, Paul is pleading with God for the third time about the thorn in his side, about the weakness in his life. And God replies to him, My grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. So this got me thinking that in this life, in this world, there really are only two choices, God or evil. In verse 10, it says, When I am weak, then I am strong. When Paul sees that God's grace is sufficiently big enough to make up for his weakness and that God's power is made perfect in weakness, He then boasts of his weakness. I am weak. I know that. And I'm at a point in my life when I feel down about myself. I know you have felt that too. Whatever it is, physical issues, appearance, or emotional, or disease, or whatever you struggle with, you and I have two choices. To allow God to use our weaknesses and make something meaningful and beautiful out of our lives, Or else, the devil will just use our weaknesses to destroy us, to drag us down and burn us out. So, this is my choice. I choose to be weak, but to trust in God. This way, and in Him, I am weak, but I am strong.